bring in Vaz News anchor and executive producer, Karina Japor. Karina, great to have you on the show. I mean, it just goes on and on. Lake and Riley, right? Lake and Riley is murdered. A two-year-old boy is shot and killed. A 15-year-old is uh, disabled 15-year-old is raped by an illegal immigrant. Uh, conservatives are saying enough is enough, and, th and they appear to be right. What do you think? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Trace. Good night. And I just want to say, as a Hispanic woman, that, of course, uh, concerns for most Americans are the same concerns that Hispanics have. Right now, crime is one of them. Illegal immigration is impacting Hispanics just as much as it's impacting anybody else. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Hispanics here in the United States, mm -hmm. they love this country. Ma the majority of Hispanics, we love this country. We love law and order. Uh, the ones who are first generation coming here, like myself, I was yeah. born in Mexico and I came here 19 years ago legally for sure. And now I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm concerned of what's happening to our country now. None of us yep. want to see the crime rising. None of us want to see people entering the country that we don't know who they are. Right. And you've done well, Karina, and it's great to have you on the show. But I want to read this. This is FoxNews.com. Migrant charged in Maryland. Illegal migrant charged with assaulting girls at a Maryland church was deported twice. And I think that's part and parcel of a bigger problem. It doesn't even matter if you deport these people because the gate is so wide open, Karina, that they just walk back in. Absolutely, Trace, and I have to tell you, I lived and worked in El Paso, Texas at the border for several years and, you know, until 2013. And the kind of migration that we used to see there was very different mm -hmm. than the kind of migration that we are seeing now. Uh, unfortunately, under this administration, the policies have changed, you know, radically, and that's uh, just making it easier for criminals to cross the border, definitely. Yeah, I, except I want to put this very quickly up on the screen because I'm running out of time here, Karina, but this is the New York Times Absolutely. poll. This is Hispanic voters. And you look at this. I mean, Donald Trump at 46 percent, Joe Biden at 44 percent, don't know at 14 percent. Uh, they are moving toward Donald Trump. Are these polling errors or do you think this is actually happening with the Hispanic population? I think, well, I think it's accurate. And I have to tell you, one of the problems, it, well, we Hispanics love God. We love our families. We are hard workers. We pretty much share the values of the American people. And one of the problems that we had in the past is the rhetoric used by the Hispanic media outlets. And that's why yeah. we created Voss News to bring the conservative perspective of the news to the Hispanics because yeah. we embrace the same values and we just love this country as much as you guys do. And we are yeah. very concerned about what's happening right now. Karina Japor, great to have you on the show. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.